Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be replacing a C-frame motor, and these are really common in refrigeration applications in all sorts of coolers and freezers and just lots of evaporator fans. And so it's a really easy process for the most part. So I will link to a replacement motor in the description. I'll try to find this exact one. This thing is 115 volt, 3000 RPM, and it's clockwise is the rotation, but it's mechanically reversible which is super cool. It basically means you can take apart the C-frame motor and make it spin either direction. Always look at whatever you had there originally and get the correct one. Here are the accessories that it comes with. It comes with some adapters so you can use it in other situations and uh, different mounting configurations as well as a couple wire nuts. So it's a fairly complete kit. It's pretty nice. These things fail for a number of reasons, but usually it's just because the bearings failed and this motor is stiff now, so it no longer uh, functions properly. So the best way to go is just go ahead and replace it. These things are not that expensive. Today's sponsor is House Call Pro. Check them out at the top of the description. There's a link there. One of my favorite features that they offer is uh, on my way text messages. So anyone in your fleet, when they're on their way to a job, they just hit a button and it automatically sends the customer a text message, just let them, letting them know that your uh, technician is on their way. If you head over to housecallpro.com slash Ben, you can check out a free demo of the app. And if you use my link, you'll get your first month for only $19. Now, sometimes they'll designate whether or not it's clockwise shaft end or clockwise lead end. And usually when it says just clockwise, it means that it's clockwise shaft end. The new motor is clockwise facing the shaft. You can see it designate that here. So here is the shaft end. And I did go ahead and plug this in just to be sure. And it is in the clockwise orientation. So this motor is gonna be like this, replacing this existing one. And the existing one was turning this way. Uh, which, if we look at the shaft end, turning this direction is counterclockwise, right? So we need to actually reverse this motor so that it spins in the correct direction. Now, there's no wires to reverse or anything like that, so in this case, it's mechanically reversible. Mechanically reversible means that we can turn this whole assembly around here so that it faces the opposite direction and therefore spins in the opposite direction. It's probably one of my favorite ways to reverse the motors because it feels like you're actually doing something instead of switching two wires like typically. Just going to be using a quarter inch nut driver. Probably one of the most used tools in the refrigeration and HVAC industry. A quarter inch and a five sixteenths. I'll link my favorite ones in the description just for fun. So that bearing assembly just comes off of this side here. And then the side comes off as well. And we just turn it around. Drop it on the other side. And voila. You have just mechanically reversed a C-frame motor. Pat yourself on the back. Or something. <laughs> it's pretty nifty. Make sure that it still spins freely, which it does. Spins perfectly here now. So now we should have a counterclockwise C-frame motor ready to go. So we'll go ahead and remove the old one. It is. Drops loose just like that. Now these uh, fan blades just pull off of here. I already had this one a little bit loose, so um, just remember to stick it on in the same way that it was originally. Let's just compare this old motor. It might be the same motor actually. Yeah, you can see that it is the same motor. But yeah, this old shaft, I can barely turn it on this other old motor. New one is good to go, though. So we'll stick this in here. Yep, 
if you have a couple extra nuts, it doesn't hurt to throw them on there just because it helps lock that in place so that it doesn't come loose. Just firmly press this onto the replacement motor. I think it's supposed to go down a little bit further on this one. Right about there. Looks good. When you hook up these wires, it doesn't matter which one goes to neutral and which one goes to hot. Just uh, have to have them hooked to one or the other. The fan is ready to go. I'm going to go reinstall this assembly. Again, links in the top of the description for uh, the parts you might need for what you're doing, as well as our today's sponsor. If you have any thoughts or suggestions about this particular uh, video, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I try to respond to as many as I can. See ya.